nice to see you again. From today's class, we will learn different zhang organs and their main physiological functions. So look at this figure. In the center, there are five zhang organs, which are heart, spleen, lung, kidney, and liver. In the second circle, there are five fu organs, i.e. small intestine, stomach, large intestine, urinary blender, and go blender. Of course, we have one more fu organ, that is san jiao, which I will explain later. In the third circle, there are five constituents, i.e. blood vessels, muscle, skin, bones, and tendons, which are respectively connected with five zhang organs. In the outermost circle, there are five orifices, i.e. tongue, mouth, nose, ear, anus, and genitals, and eyes, which are respectively governed by five zhang organs as well. The heart, the small intestine, blood vessels, and the tongue consist of the heart system in TCM. The rest of them work in the same way. So, in the following class, we will follow the same structure to learn every zhang organ. We will start with the heart, main physiological functions of heart, and its relations with meridians, tissues, and orifices, emotions, and seasons. Firstly, main physiological functions of heart. It is recorded in Yellow Emperor's Inner Classic. The heart holds the position of ruler. Spirit brilliance comes from here. Heart is regarded as the monocle of the body, so its importance is apparently. To be specific, the main function of heart can be described as heart governing blood and vessels, xin zhu xue mai, and heart governing shen ming, spirit brilliance, xin zhu shen ming. For the idea of heart governing blood, there are two implications. The first one is that heart takes part in the production of blood. In TCM theory, when nutrition, known as essence in TCM, is transported and transformed by spleen, some part, or we say some very nutritious part, is sent to the heart. By the reddening function of heart, together with the other very complicated percents, blood is produced. Therefore, heart takes part in the production of blood. The second implication is heart qi promotes the circulation of blood. Here I have to mention again that in my class I need you always think in the way of TCM. In TCM, Blood is in, which is still and thick. In another word, without other driving force, it won't move in the body. So, heart qi, which is yang, actually works as a force that promotes blood to circulate inside blood vessels. In someone whose heart qi is not strong or powerful enough, what will happen? Blood circulation slows down and even results in blood stasis at the center. Heart qi not only can promote blood flow regularly, but it also can maintain its circulation inside vessels without escaping. This function actually is based on the physiological structure that heart is directly connected with vessels. These two points are the explanation for heart governing vessels. Another main function of heart is that it governs shen ming, spirit brilliance. The difficulty lies in what is shen ming. I really could not find a word that can explain shen ming in a good way, so I may start with the creation of the character. What is this? Lightning, yes, which was written in this way by ancient Chinese in the Shang and the Zhou dynasties about 3,005 years before. So, ancient Chinese were very limited in cognitive competence. They regarded a natural phenomena such as lightning as a sign of magic of God. Later, the character simplified into this one, and finally developed into this one. 
which is what we use now. So we can say that the right part of Shen originally means something that is mysterious and beyond the common understanding. Well, what does the left part mean? This is the process of development of the character of Shen. Let's look at the earliest one. What is the left part? It is a pictographic character indicating this one. But what is this? It is a table which was specially used by ancient Chinese when they made worship or offered sacrifice. Now, together with the right part, I think you can try to guess the meaning of Shen. In Chinese, it mainly means God, spirit, mystery. When it is applied in TCM, as we mentioned, that heart governs Shen Ming. Shen Ming has broad and narrow meaning. In broad sense, it refers to the external manifestation of all life activities. Shen Ming, 活动的总体现 But how to understand the external manifestation of all life activities? Look at these two kids. I think their difference is quite apparently. In TCM, we will say that the boy is in shortage of Shen. While the girl has abundant shen, so from her external manifestation, we can expect a both physically and psychologically healthy and lovely girl. So this is the external manifestation of all life activities. In narrow sense, it refers to the spirit, consciousness in mind, thinking ability, and mental activities. That's why. When heart fails in governing shen, there may be manifestations of forgetfulness, slow reaction, even consciousness and coma. So the main functions of heart include heart governing blood and vessels and heart governing shen ming. All right, for its relations with meridians, tissues, and orifices, emotions and seasons are relatively easy to understand. And actually, we have mentioned the related contents in holistic concept and five element theory. Look at the figure again. Heart and small intensity build up an exterior interior relationship based on two meridians, which are the Han Shao Yin Heart Meridian and the Head Tai Yang Small Intensity Meridian. Furthermore. Heart is connecting to blood vessels. We have already know that, and manifesting on face, opening into tongue, relating to joint, and corresponding to summer. All these knowledges are significant when TCM make diagnosis and conducted treatment accordingly. So I need you keep them in mind. Okay, these are the contents for heart. Thank you for your attention, and I see you next time.